Hi there and welcome to another video in the Python snippet series. In this one we're going to look at how to compute the median of a data structure, a sequence. Uh, the median is defined as simply being the middle point uh, of um, an ordered list of items. So we're going to demonstrate what that means more concretely in this video. So I've got the same basic setup here of um, ages, just a random list of integers as we had before. And what I want to do now is calculate the median of that list. Now there's two things to take note of. When you calculate the median, um, if the given list has an even number of elements, then the median is the halfway point between the middle two elements. And if the list has an odd number of elements, then you can simply take the midpoint, which has two on each side in this case, so yeah, you have to consider how many elements does the list have. So I want to write a function here. It's going to be called median and it's going to take in a list of ages in this case. Obviously the general case of a median function you can call this parameter anything you want. So first thing I want to do is compute the length of the list and I'm going to store that in a variable called n. In accordance with the rules um, described up here, I want to see if, if it's an even number if the length of the list is even, which you can do by taking n modulo 2, and if that's equal to 0, we know it's an even list, then we can compute the midpoint by taking uh, n and dividing it by 2 to get a, a floor division um, as an integer. We, we basically, to do this would return um, potentially a to do this would potentially return a float. We want to return an integer by floor dividing that and we can subtract one from that. Now that's important because if you look at the length of this even list here, we have f a length of four and halfway between four, the, this operator would give us two. But remember in, the, in computer science, lists are ordered from zero. So zero, one, two. We don't want to start on this element. We want to start on the one before that. So we subtract one to get the midpoint that we're interested in. Once we have that midpoint, what we can then do is index into the the parameter, the list of ages, and we can index in at that midpoint, and we can add in the midpoint plus one. So that's going to let's wrap that in a parenthesis. Um, so what that does is it gets us essentially that element and the one after it, midpoint plus one. We're indexing in to get those elements. And finally, once we've added them together, we'll take the average of them by simply dividing by 2. And that will be the median of that um, given ages list, if the length of the list is um, an even number. So that's how you get it. If it's even, I want to say, if it's not even, which is a simple else clause here, we can say the, uh, the element, not the midpoint, we can just directly return uh, the element let's say the element index um, is equal to n divided by 2 again we want an integer so we'll use the two slashes and we can return ages indexed by that element index and that will give us in this case let's say that the length of ages is 5 it will 5 modulo 2 is 1 so it will not go into the if block it will go into the else block we can then take 5 divide it by 2 that would give us 2.5 but when we floor divide we'll get 2 and then we can simply index into the list at um, index 2, so 0, 1, 2, and that will give us the result we want, which is 3. So let's test the function out. Um, I'm going to call... Uh, uh, okay, the, there is one very important step that we need to do before we pass the list of ages into that. We need to sort it. So I'm going to say there's a ages sorted variable, and I'm going to call sorted on the ages. And let's have a look at what that returns. So that returns the list we've got up here, but it's now in sorted order from smallest to largest. That's a key thing to do because obviously these operations depend, the median operation as it's defined here, it depends on the list already being sorted when it's passed in here. Finally, we can then call the function that we've just created to get the median of that list. Now before I execute this, we'll try and compute what this should be. So this, this has 10 elements, that's an even number, so we know that the it's going to fall uh, halfway between 
the two elements in the middle. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to fall in between these two elements because there are four elements on each side of those two elements. So we take the average of the two in the middle, which is going to be 32. So we expect this to return 32, and it does. Finally, um, just to demonstrate that this works with um, odd numbers as well, um, we, when we have a length that's odd, I can chop off the last element by using that syntax. Now, just to show you what that looks like actually, that's given us a, an element, a list with nine elements, not 10, because we've sliced off the last element. And we expect the median now to be the, because this has got nine elements, it's an odd number, so the median will fall right in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, it's gonna be this element here. There's four elements on each side of that, so the median of this age is sorted when we slice off the last element, is just going to be 31. That verifies that. And just to show you again, just a bit of the statistics module in Python, um, I'll create a new cell for this. The statistics module, if I import that again, um, has a median function. So I can simply call statistics.median on the ages data, and it'll import that and it returns 32 as we computed before. And notice that the statistics module, we're passing in the ages as they're defined up here. This call to median will take care of sorting the list for us. We don't need to explicitly sort um, the list at all, which is quite handy. Um, and I finally, I can index off the last element. Um, I need to use the sorted version of that first though, of course. Um, and that should give us 31, which we got up here. Um, so that's everything for this video. Um, I just want to finish off by saying that the Python statistics module, it's a, a basic statistics module, it's not supposed to uh, replace NumPy or SciPy or stats models or anything like that, but it has some useful functions for computing statistics over lists and other sequences. You can do harmonic means, you can get the mode, which is the most common uh, element in the list. You can do quantiles and obviously we've seen the standard deviation and the variance. And there's also a handy normal distribution class, which is used for creating normal distributions over random variables. So that's all for this video. It's worth looking at the statistics module if you're doing basic things in Python over sequences. If there's any requests, uh, let me know. I'll do a video on quantiles soon, um, and obviously anything else that comes up. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.